Hi everyone. So Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And um, in this video, the Lord is basically wanting me to share the um, that the, the scripture is like a, an official highway code for us, you know, so um, but basically here in UK, in um, when, when somebody wants to get a, a driving license, they would have to pass two tests. They have to pass the practical test, which is the, you know, hopping onto the car and driving and you, you get tested on that. And then you also have to pass the theory test, which is um, you must learn the highway code and then you're going to be tested on that. So I don't know if they've got that in other nations, but that's what we have here. And um, the Lord is using that as um, to, to basically show that um, with the scriptures, with the word of God is a similar thing. So you have your practical life that you have to walk out your your life you have to live your life um but there is a, a an official highway code given to all mankind to all of us that we have to live by in order for us to live our lives in a way that um that our, our the lord god almighty intends for us to live our lives i think we can all agree on that right so what the lord is um Put on my heart to share in this video is that when we make the scripture when we make his word um the highway code the official highway code for our lives the lord promises that he's going to um, make a highway in in our lives so so for example let's say as an example when I make the word of the Lord my highway code and um, and I, I solve, I, I intend to solve problems using this, you know, this this is always my reference to, um, to the things that I do in life, including any situation that I, I come, I come up against. I, I see what the word of the Lord directs for me to do to to solve that problem when i make the word of the lord my official highway code the lord is saying that he will make a highway in my life so and i and it's the same with you so the lord is basically saying that he will make a highway in your life when you make his word your highway code so it's not that you haven't been uh, living your life with the word of the Lord, but maybe there are areas that you need to zo you need to zoom into even more so, or you, maybe there are areas in your life that you need to bring into the light of the word of God. You know, maybe there are areas, not necessarily sin, but just you know, just areas in life that you you just want to solve those problems, and it's never crossed your mind that perhaps you can bring that situation under the light of the word of God and the word of the Lord is able to shine light upon it to grant you revelation and understanding and wisdom on how to go forward with that particular situation. You know, so, um, and the Lord is saying that when we do that, um, there will be a highway made for us. And there's a scripture here that he gave me and it's found in Isaiah 35. And Isaiah 35 verse 8 says, A highway shall be there and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. And I like that. I like that a lot. I like especially the last bit. It says, whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray, you know. I like it because it means that um, when I make foolish decisions, um, I can, but, I, but I'm humble enough and obedient enough to always go back to the word of, word of the Lord. Um, the Lord says that I will not go astray, you know, 
because his word will, will help me, you know, it, it's a path for me, you know, so, um, so anyway, that's, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. And, um, it's a fresh word from the Lord, um, which, um, I would, I myself would take it away and, um, you know, and I'm just gonna, um, ask the Lord to expand on it a little bit more for me per personally in my own personal life, you know, so, and I encourage you to do the same if this this word um, bears witness with your spirit, you know, that the Lord is, um, is uh, the, the, the word that I'm saying. Let me say it one more time, one more time, just to be clear. So the Lord is saying that he will make a highway in in your life when you make his word your highway code okay so so how i'm i'm applying this and my understanding of that word is those areas that i haven't brought under the word of the lord i need to bring them under the word of the lord and um <clears throat> and those areas where i haven't brought under the submission or i haven't submitted to the word of the lord you know when god says in his word do do this but then i'm doing something else that's an example or sometimes i'm doing something but i i did i did not know that the, the the word of the lord has made provision on how i can look at that situation these are just examples okay so when i bring those situations and i bring them in light under the light of the word of the lord yeah the lord promises that when i do that and i make it my highway code the Lord promises that he will make a highway in one's life. So, um, so yeah, so that it could be, so using the same example that I'm using. So in that situation, that area that I've been struggling with, when I bring it under the light of the, of the word of the Lord, the Lord will create a highway in that area. Yeah. So you, you get what I'm saying? So that area, the Lord will create a highway and make a straight path, um, a highway in that um, particular area, so that what was taking me a long time will now happen very quickly because there is now a highway um, to to get from point A to to the end place to where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so um, I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I will spend time with the Lord about on on this a bit more, just to um, just to hear what He will say. All right, bye.